So today we are on the 19th floor of this big Shenzhen building and what we are going to visit is OBD Star. This entire floor is for OBD Star's development and marketing department and customer care as well. So for shipping and for production it's another office. Today we just came to visit this one. The entire floor, both sides, is there. The office is like all on a circle. So today we will show you several of their new products and what you need to expect from OBD Star for the next year. Hi everybody. Guess where we are today? Today we are visiting OBD Star's office in Shenzhen and we come here to check their new products and the direction for the next year. So we will let you know what is the future for this company, for their products and what new things you can look forward to in 2024. Here we have a showcase of all the products made by OBD Star. So one of the interesting ones over here, for example, is focused on boats and it's just released last year. And then we have several for a motorcycle, like this is specifically for Ducati, but they have also one which is multi-brand. Then the, for the testing platform, the MT502. And then the one we showed also before, the ACU cloning tool, DC706. So these are the main products. So now we are going to check how the tool works. So today, since we have the chance to be in OBD Star office, we come to check out the um, G3 pad. The English version will be out in the coming months after March. And uh, this is the Chinese version which has already been out for a while. So today we are going to show in detail the Chinese version so that you know what you should expect in the English version. So first of all, over here we have several different functions. We have two pages of menu full of functions. Here we have immobilizer. Here we have remote control. Here we have key and chips. Here we have cluster repair. Here we have airbag. Here we have ECU cloning. And then in this page we have testing platform programmer, standard OBD tester, and so on. So we just try it a little bit. Let's go to airbag repair and we can select here. We have two selections. One is repair for airbag, one is for battery. Let's check the battery first. So now the software is loading the battery protocols. And here we are, we, have, we can select it by brand, we have Audi and Volvo just for now, but we can see something very interesting. We have support for the BMS on Audi. We have the part number, so we know exactly which battery we are talking about and the processor type and the connection mode as well. So this work can be done directly by bench. You don't need to open the, the, the BMS at all, which is something nobody can do. And for Volvo, we have similar functionality. As you can see, the ME VM module, we can check the connection mode, and here we go. Different connectors, we have different pictures. So we can expect with time this uh, BMS modules will be more and more because they are getting more and more important to repair. And then this is just one part of the protocol we selected. Now we're going to check the others. So let's go to check ECU clone. So now we have an engine control unit for motorcycles, uh, for normal cars, and then we have transmission and other controls like a body computer, KVM, keyless systems, and so on. So this is the same like the DC706 we shown in another video already. So here we don't have too much differences. It's basically the same functionality. And then if we go back, we can check cluster. And then for cluster here, we can select for example, let's try Honda and we will load the protocols for Honda only. Then here we have Fit, City, Odyssey, XRV, all those modules are supported and we can just uh, use automatic recognition as well. So this is all work we can do by OBD. Then if we go to the other functions, we have uh, Immobilizer. And for immobilizer, we have a pin code calculation, but we can also go specifically to the brand. For example, let's try Porsche. And here we have all the models supported. So for example, we can select Macan. And we have from 2011 to 2017, chip number 49. And so now it shows us in detail what we have to do, what kind of file we need to read and what we are going to have to do. Then we can follow the instruction, we can proceed to pair the keys. 
so more or less different functionalities use the same kind of structure. You go to select the brand and then from the brand you will have the more detailed information about what you have to do in order to do your job. So this pad is one of the most interesting tools in the coming year because it can do almost everything that OBD Star tools can do, uh, but put only one tablet, so it's very easy. You can carry it over with you, and you can. Doesn't matter what you have to do that day. You can pretty much make sure you're going to be able to handle it. And this is very convenient because we know how many toys we need to have in order to do all the work we have to do in a day. And this will save a lot of space and a lot of time to search for the right product. Right. So we will find out soon enough in the next couple of months what's going to be the price and when it's going to be available for sale. So keep following us and we will tell you as soon as possible.